Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17 and how farms work. No, kidding. Well, sort of kidding. Uh, I'm on Autumn Oaks and I just wanted to show you this map. It's a pretty cool map. Um, not the most biggest one we're on, but it, it sort of... I saw this map and I thought that oh, this is kind of a cool place. Uh, so I'm going to run my own game on it. I'm not going to do a let's play. I'm just going to run it my own. And... Um, I've been setting it up so to get everything like uh, the custom farm. Here, for some reason, this doesn't work. I don't know why. Why? If you look at reviews, you can find it both that this Rhino Ag Windrow does work and doesn't work. And for some reason, here on this, maybe it's map related or it's oh, I'm doing something wrong downloaded it from a few different places so that's not it but I wanted a window like they have in real life but this is so I'm not sure if it's exact same model but it they have it right now but the problem with this is looks like that and if you unfold that unfold and you can lower it it will still be stuck in the air which is, I don't know why it, that is. There's something wrong with it. Unfortunately. So, that's sort of sad. But, well, we'll take this back to our farm. So, I set this up to be like the real deal. But this this episode is more like a first look of the, on the map. So, Autumn Oaks. Um, I'm actually not putting any links in the description, just Google Autumn Oaks if you want to find it. So none of these tractors, none, none of this is in the description because I just didn't save the links, basically, that's why. Um, that's a cool map, you start out with, you can buy farms, so you start out with the pig farm, I sold that, and now I own the dairy farm over there, which costs, costs a fortune, a 1.6 million, but it's worth it. Um, the thing about this farm is that if you look at the map and this part, which we own now, these fields, plowing this field and we're so cultivating these and we've done those, um, looks a lot like the how f the custom farm farm is, with their um, waterways, which is the grass pieces between the land, so the water will s get stuck in the grass when it flows, not flow take away all the seeds and stuff from the field and, and dirt mostly um, there's big big farms um, stuff so I set this up so you have the four four tractors that they have um, I'm gonna show you this is this is a 7700 and they have a 7600 I can find a good 7600 so I, I used to 7700 basically so they have this one uh, which is kind of cool so here's the farm or dairy farm they had to put a water uh, pump there because I couldn't get anything else to work um, so the 7700 which should be 7600 here I don't know if they have a, a tender like that. They have a Moco, John Deere. They have a, a Baylor, John Deere. And they have a 12 row cedar planter, Maximer XP. So this is sort of they have the one they have, even though they modified it. They have a John Deere 4640. So we have one of those. Um, here's our cows. Hello, cows. How are you doing? It's nice. Um, we have. Um, I'll show you this first. One of these bale trailers. I think they have a bigger one. They have more slots. So I haven't found one, but uh, so I use this one. It actually works pretty good. Uh, they have a John Deere harvester uh, combine. I don't know if it's a T six 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 sixty or if it's something else, but that's the uh, best I could find corn head and we have a bobcat this is a really cool thing I'll 
go if look at the animal, see if they have fools. We could do one more bale of uh, of hay. So So I actually put all these bales in here manually, which seems like a big task, but it isn't because this is a really cool and uh, cool skid steer, this model, this mod, so you can do this really fast. Luckily. So and this is where if you I had some problems finding where to feed stuff. This is where you can feed them and give them hay uh, oh not hay straw and over here in this white container here if you look at the pointy thing on the bale fork this one this is where you put water give water to the cows in case you're wondering so so a really cool skid steer i like that one um what else do we have we have a f uh, mixer i don't know what kind of mixer they have but we, we got a cheap mixer and uh, down here we have a um, manure trailer, manure spreader and looks a little bit like the one they have, not completely but a little bit so this is where we put the manure, we empty that out and these are the fields and these are the waterways so we're cutting the grass in between here making bales when we get to that part um, Quite quite big fields on this map, and you can buy buy additional fields if you want to, which is kind of cool. I'm gonna go down here and here. So, what I've been doing is I've been plowing and then uh, harrowing it to get the nice surface for planting later. We're gonna plant mostly soybeans and uh, corn, so not yet. Um, we hired this. And this is a local company that's coming in and just spreading fertilizer on our field because we don't do that ourselves. Uh, we have the John Deere. You can see if we can see that. We have the John Deere R2030. It should be, I think, 8030. It should be 8235, I think, and it's 8230, so it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close. So instead of instead of 85 8230, we have an 8230. No, instead of 8235, we have an R, we have an 8230 R. So that's doing plowing there with our John Deere disc. I don't think they have a John Deere disc though, they have um, another disc. But that's okay. So that's doing its work over there, and then we have the last tractor on the farm, uh, which is the John Deere. What is it? Twenty. Twenty twenty-five. No, twenty forty-five. Twenty. Sorry. Forty twenty. Oh, it's stupid. So this is a pretty cool model. Um. That works nicely. Some hours on four hours. Which is basically just harrowing these fields, so it does take a bit of time to ha do this. There you go. And the harrow on the back is some sort of harrow I got off. This is more like a Russian style harrow, but it looks a little bit like the one they have on the farm, so I went with that. They have some other stuff which I haven't found mods for, so. This is the way it is. And we got about a hundred dairy cows. Don't they don't have dairy cows? They have uh, breed cattle, cattle steers and stuff, which they sell. But uh, that's not really possible in the game, or at least not on this map. So we have the dairy cows. So it's slightly different from the real deal. Go take a look at the track. Here it is. Oh. It's not a very 
fast thing. It's quite a slow <laughs> thing, the, the plowing, but it does use a lot of fuel also, but it, it's worth it. It will be nice. Disking down all the old, uh, I don't know if this bean stalks or if this is, could be corn stalks, I think. Uh, so, so here's the 8230, yeah. uh, which should be an 8235. And a nice John Deere disc here on the back, which isn't really realistic because they don't have a disc. I don't think they have a John Deere disc. But. Ah, well, that's the way it is. So that's cool. Uh, anyway, let's get it. Uh, we could park that here actually. So that's basically the map. If you take the car and drive around a little bit, show you. So this is the dairy farm. And then you have. Oh! I have more realistic mod installed, which means that ever never. These rear, rear driven cars and trucks and stuff are not easy to handle, unfortunately. So you can buy, as I said, not very easy. So the cool part about this map is you can do this, you can get out and it's like for sale. So you go up here and it's like, oh, 159. And then you get the, the house and the shed. I think you can open this. Yeah. So which is cool. Close that. And you get land. So different, sometimes you can buy farms and you can buy different land areas, areas so you can buy this farm and get the um, the uh, far, not the farm you get the field with it or you can buy just this field and, and the plenty of places like you can buy farms so basically and there's a pig farm you can buy which you own from the start which I sold uh, you can buy this farm I think so there's signs on all the driveways where you can so if you want this farm, you can buy that, and you get some piece of land with that. That's the sheep farm, I think. I don't think you get, I think you get like one field with that one, though. And over here is far another farm you can buy. There's not a lot of sell points on this farm, but I think that's sort of realistic. Because in real life, you wouldn't have a ton of sell points either. You probably have like one place you go to and sell your stuff. Here's another farm. So basically, cool fields. It's nice. Some fields you can, like this one you can buy on their own. Another fields you have to. I think this is the end of the map. Probably go like two. Yeah. There we go. But that was the end. End. I mean, it's a pretty cool map. I like this. It's not humongous. It's, but it's not small either. It's, it's, it ha It actually has the kind of fee country feeling I am looking for, in a map. So, well, the fields you can buy, farms you can buy. Um, oh, it's a nice place. Nice map. I like it. I really like it a lot. So and um, over by the, the where we started out by the shop there, so we sell all the pr produce. So well, that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm gonna play this on my own as uh, how farms work. If you haven't checked out that YouTube channel, you should really do that. It's a really good YouTube channel. Um, how farms work? Easy. Just search YouTube on that, and you'll find it. about it I'm not gonna well uh, so no links in the description sorry about that but just google it's not that hard google fs17 automox and you will find a lot of links for this one
so when the doors close differently. So that's about. I like this, these uh, gravity trailers. Kind of cool. Looking forward to using them. Well, I guess that's about it. Oh, sorry. And um, let's see. We'll be back on Hofbergerman next episode, I think. After a little detour here. Okay, anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Andy. This has been a first look on the Autumn Oaks map, slash how farms work, I guess. And uh, I'll see you next time we'll do Hof Bergman again. I have a lot of answers to give there. A lot of comments I've received. Oh, something's slipping. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah. I still haven't figured out. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. Uh, there's no tab for island. I can't know. I don't know where to find it. Island tab. Opposite turn direction activated. That was a drive on that. I don't know if there's a certain. If that doesn't apply to mode. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing something wrong. I have to watch that more carefully. The uh, the tutorial, of course, play. I haven't had the time. That's why I haven't looked at it. So it's before me. Sorry, <laughs> I just been very busy at work, and now I have a, a really pain in the behind sort of work ahead of myself. I won't have a ton of time to look at. I, I know that also uh, David wrote I should have a close eye on Snooky's News, but I just don't have time to watch all the episodes. He's putting out so many episodes. Um, probably like the same amount uh, as I am doing, but uh, still her I, I just don't have a time. I'm really sorry. I wish I had. But between work and uh, taking care of the kids and sort of doing all the stuff you need to do when you own a ho house um, I don't have any time left basically so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to watch Snooki's News episode but um, to be honest that's gonna be hard so I really do need you guys' help with how uh, with information on what it should what works and what doesn't work and how to do things I know it's hard I know it's hard to convey in text some stuff but uh, well, I'm gonna try anyway I'm doing my best so thank you for watching uh, I'm Andy this has been the first look on Autumn Oaks and I'll see you next time have a great day bye bye